again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 13th of March, 2019. Article was posted by NBC News on March the 12th, written by Doa Madani and Associated Press. The most senior Catholic cleric ever to be convicted of child sex abuse was sentenced to six years in prison in Australia on Wednesday morning. Cardinal George Pell, 77, faced as many as 50 years in prison after being convicted in December for the molestation of two choir boys while he was Archbishop of Melbourne in the 1990s. Pell must serve a minimum of three years and eight months before he is eligible for parole. You know what's going to happen to this guy once he gets to prison, right? You know what they do to people that molest children, don't you? He will spend the rest of his life as a registered sex offender. Pell was convicted of assault of a 13-year-old boy after he was caught them swigging sacramental wine in the rear room of a Melbourne St. Patrick Cathedral in late 1996. The jury also found Pell guilty of indecently assaulting one of the boys in a corridor more than a month later. Chief Judge Peter Kidd of Victoria's County Court said in a sentence remark, that Pell's age and history of cardinal issues were a significant factor in his sentencing decision. For the same reason, Kidd also said he did not consider there to be a high risk of Pell reoffending. There is no cure for pedophilia. They can't stop, and they won't stop, unless they get their nuts cut off. During the nearly hour-long sentencing remarks, Kidd called Pell's attack brazen, and suggesting that the cleric was breathtakingly arrogant in his attack on the young boys. There is no evidence of your remorse or contrition, Kidd said Wednesday in court. When a conviction became public, Pope Francis' chief aide called it shocking and painful. Not as painful as it was for those kids that got molested. Italian Cardinal Pietro Parlani also said the Pell case is an incentive to continue the Pope's line, fighting against this phenomena. Phenomena? What you, it's no phenomena. This has been going on for centuries. And paying attention to the victims, according to the crux of a Catholic news site. Pell and his lawyers have maintained that the Cardinal is innocent, and they plan to appeal his conviction at the Victoria Court of Appeal on June the 5th. Good luck with that one. A victim who testified at Pell's trial said after the conviction was revealed that he was experienced shame, loneliness, depression, and struggle. In a statement, the man said it had taken him years to understand the impact the assault had on his life. Details of the trial had been suppressed until late February because Pell had faced a second trial in April on charges that he decently assaulted two other boys as young priests in the late 1970s in a public pool in his hometown of Ballarat. Prosecutor Fran Ozzi told the court at the time that the Balak charges had been dropped and asked for the suppression order to be lifted. The move came days after the judge ruled out two key prosecution witnesses in the Balak case. The Vatican announced that it would launch its own investigation into the allegations after Pell's conviction went public. A spokesman for the Vatican also said that Pell was no longer head of the Secretariat for the Economy a post that oversees the Vatican's finances. You don't think that this Vatican's all involved in this shit too, huh? You don't think that this Pope, the whole thing is sickening. It's been going on for hundreds and hundreds of years. You think not, think what you like. I do. I'll attach the link, listen to what the judge has to say. Thanks for listening.